You want to start using YouTube to attract paying clients, but you're a total beginner and you don't know where to start. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a brand new YouTube channel from scratch in only 10 minutes a day. In only a week, you will have a YouTube channel that is primed to start bringing you clients and you don't need to be a tech wizard and you don't need to have a marketing degree. And I don't care how busy you are, you can find 10 minutes a day, can't you? This update for 2024 is going to show you all of the latest settings so that you don't waste any time or overlook anything important. Be Believe me when I say that it is very possible to create a multiple six or even seven figure business using YouTube as your primary method of getting in front of potential clients and getting them to call you. So just do it already. This is going to be a longer video. So the best way to do it is to watch it today and then come back another time and watch it again each day as you watch what I did, pause it make your thing, come back to the video and resume playing. This way you're going to create your channel right along with me step by step. You won't get overwhelmed because you're trying to do everything simultaneously. I'll put all the timestamps down below so that you can skip ahead to each day as you're going through this entire process. Let's go create the account. Today we are setting up your YouTube channel. I am assuming that you don't have an account at all, but you do want a Gmail account. If you already have a Google account, sign out. You should see sign in in the top right corner click on sign in and then go down to create account. We're not going to log in with your existing Google account. We're going to create an account for my business because your plan is to use your YouTube channel to get clients. Therefore, you are using it for your business. Enter all of this basic information as we go through the screens. Now you can either use an existing email address or create a brand new Gmail address. This is what I recommend. Do not use the email address given to you by your brokerage. If you ever change companies, you will lose your entire YouTube channel, don't do it. Give it a name, something that you will remember that you can use just for logging into your YouTube channel. After you create your password, it asks for a backup email address just in case you forget how to log in, you can't remember your password, all that good stuff. Last but not least, here come the privacy and terms. Make sure you read through all of this stuff and as long as you agree, hit I agree confirm. We don't need to set up a whole Google account right now, so hit not now. We're mostly worried about the YouTube channel, not the Google account. Brings you back here. Now we're going to click on your brand new little avatar in the upper right hand corner and go to YouTube Studio. This is the name that the YouTube channel has chosen for you. Tomorrow we're going to be going through an exercise where we decide what your entire channel will be about and you may very well end up changing this. Right now, why don't you just leave it as your name or whatever you came up with the first time, we can always change it later. So let's just hit create channel and move along. Congratulations, you have created a channel. You are now inside YouTube Studio. See, that wasn't so hard. Now we're going to move on and do a little bit of market research. I am a firm believer that you need to have a niche for your channel. If you are a real estate agent and you say, I do all things real estate covering my entire metro area, it is too broad. You need to go deeper than that. I just gave a presentation on this last week. Let's watch real fast. Niching down helps you and YouTube and your viewers. It's a win-win-win for all parties. It helps them find you because there are so many videos on YouTube. There is a sea of videos on YouTube and there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of videos that are literally uploaded every minute on YouTube. It helps them be able to find your content. It helps you know what to be able to talk about. What should you talk about in your videos so that people will not only watch them, but they will call you and say, hey, I need your services. It helps YouTube understand who is the most likely person to enjoy watching this video. Your niche makes you different. We all know that the general practitioner doctor makes far less money than the brain surgeon. If you have a specialty, you typically make a lot more money than if you are a general practitioner. Every time you go to a networking event, you know there's several other real estate agents there, right? So she said, normally I would say I'm a real estate agent and then their eyes glaze over and they're like, oh, look, there's Joe, gotta go. And this person, after she said I was a condo specialist, suddenly they were like oh, all engaged in what I was saying. Unlike the others, this one lady said, I wanna buy a condo. And the guy said, my mom wants to buy a condo. It actually turned into conversations about real estate 
Whereas normally when she just said, I'm a real estate agent, they were like, out of here, right? So having a specialty sets you apart. It could be your farm area. Now that does not mean Savannah. It means a very specific geographic farm area. It could be distressed sales, REO listings, short sales. It could be a type of property. It could be uh, a beach home. It could be log cabins. It could be tiny homes. It could be condos in the city, right downtown. It could be luxury. It could be investors. It could be a type of client. So maybe an empty nester or a senior or a first time buyer. It could be people in the military or teachers or first responders. It can literally be anything that you want it to be. It is not too specific. It just makes it so that your marketing message is unique and it cuts through all of that noise on YouTube and goes like a laser beam to the person who is the most likely person to want to hear your marketing message. So now that you know why you need to have a niche, this is what you're going to do today in your 10 minutes. Start brainstorming what type of consumer do you want to reach most? Are you looking for buyers? Are you looking for sellers? Are you looking for first time buyers? Are you looking for military relocation? Are you looking for downsizers? Are you looking for luxury listings? What is your channel going to be about? And then I want you to really write down what type of topics you would talk about on this channel. Who is the person most likely to watch the these videos. What are the questions they have? What are the problems they're trying to solve? And start making a running list of ideas for videos that you will make to put on this channel. Do not skip this step because it sounds like work. This is the work. This is what will make your channel successful or not. I am telling you now, if you skip this step, you may as well not make the channel at all. It is that important. It's day three, and now we are going to move on to the visual components of your channel. We are looking at your profile photo, which is your channel icon, and your channel banner, which is basically the cover image. You want to brand your channel so that if somebody arrives on your YouTube channel, they can tell exactly where you are located, what your channel is about, and quickly decide, is this content for me? And should I subscribe to the channel? If they don't understand what they're going to get by watching your channel, then they're probably not going to. You've probably heard that saying, if you confuse, you lose. We don't want to confuse anybody. So make it readily apparent what this channel is about. What is your unique value proposition that you are delivering to the viewer? Not you as a real estate agent and your value proposition, the channel's value proposition. Why should someone watch your YouTube channel versus one of your competitors? What will they get by watching this channel. It doesn't really matter what you use to create your channel banner, but I use Canva because it's very affordable and almost everybody has it. In fact, I have a channel banner template that I'm gonna link down below. So if you wanna just use my template so that you're not starting from scratch, go ahead and click that link down below, open it in your own Canva account. It will save you a ton of time. Once you have created your channel banner, you've downloaded it from Canva or from Photoshop or whatever you use to create it, you're gonna save it as either a JPEG or a PNG. Sorry, at this time, YouTube does not allow you to upload anything with animations on it. So that really cute channel banner that you made in Canva that has all of these animated sparkles and stuff is not gonna work. You gotta save it as a JPEG or a PNG. Now we come over to YouTube and here is where we upload it. Now it brings you back to YouTube. We're gonna click on your little profile image in the upper right corner. And this time we're gonna come down to YouTube Studio. This brings you into to the back end of your YouTube channel where you can do all of your customization. We're going to do a lot more of this over the coming week, but for right now, let's just go to customization on the left hand side and then click on branding. When it comes to the profile photo, if you are a solo agent, it's just going to be your face. A very big close up because remember that thing is tiny on a phone. If it's showing up in various places throughout YouTube, it is so tiny. We need your face to be very, very zoomed in. If you are a two person team, you might be able to get away with a photo with both of your faces on it. It's probably going to be so small we won't be able to see what it is. So I'd say just use your logo instead. Let's upload your headshot. Pick a 
headshot that is a close-up of your face. This is a very, very tiny photo and we do not need an itty bitty picture of you where we can't even tell what you look like. Once you pull it up, you can move it around. You can zoom in and out a little bit. Something like this would be good. We are cropped in fairly tight on your face. We can absolutely see what you look like. It's not super formal. You look friendly. You look like someone, someone would want to hire. And then we can hit publish. Now it's day four and we're going to make sure that your videos and your channel show up in search results. Okay, here we are on the channel dashboard again. And this time, instead of the customization tab, we're gonna go down to where it says settings, then click on channel. Here is where you get to put in keywords that tell YouTube what your channel is about. I would mention the area that you service, anything to do with real estate, real estate in Savannah, Savannah real estate, Savannah real estate agent, Savannah realtor, all kinds of keywords such as that. I would put in my name. I would put in any common misspellings of your name. Name, ask me how I know, and my channel name as well. You can have up to 500 characters in here. So put as many in here that make sense that describe what you're going to be talking about on this channel. Then I like to click on upload defaults. Now, because the title of every video is going to be different, I never put anything in the title, but the description box, you absolutely can. You can put in how to contact you, any licensing information, who your brokerage is, where are they located? Do you have to put in your license number, your blog post, your Facebook, your Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, anything like that. So you can put all of that stuff down in here. And now below every single video, this will be in the description box box underneath your video. You do not have to copy and paste. It will go in there for you automatically. Huge time saver. We are in the home stretch. We are in day five. Today, we're going to write the about me section. This is your little bio. This is where you get to tell the viewers a little bit about yourself, why they should watch your channel, why they should subscribe. Most importantly, how they can contact you. Now we go back to the channel customization tab, only this time we're going to click on basic info. Let's start with the channel name. I recommend that we either choose your name or the niche that you've decided to service. Make it short and sweet, easy to remember, easy to spell, something catchy, but don't obsess over this. People make this channel name life or death and you can change it anytime you want. So if you name it Georgia Coast Homes and you later move to Alaska, you can change it. If you decide a year or two down the road to change your niche, you can change your channel name. Don't spend too much time on this. I've seen way too many people obsess over the the channel name and they come to a screeching halt and take no action for months at a time because they can't decide what to call their channel. Give yourself half an hour to brainstorm a million different names, pick one, move on. When it comes to the handle, it's basically just a way that someone could search the at sign plus the name of your channel and find you on YouTube. It's usually the same as the name of the channel or maybe an abbreviated version, kind of like what I did here. Now we move down to the description which is essentially the about me section, your bio. So I had ChatGPT write me an amazing bio, and this is a great example of what not to do. You don't want to make this one giant commercial all about yourself, your accolades, your designations, your accomplishments, the many, many houses that you have sold, the awards that you have won, all of that kind of thing. Don't do this. Tell them what this channel is about. Why is it relevant to them? What's in it for them? Should they subscribe and watch all of your videos? How can they contact you? Do you want to put a link to your website or to Instagram, Facebook, any other platform where you are active? And remember, everybody who watches your channel is thinking, what's in it for me? At this point, they don't really care about you. And they certainly don't care that you've sold $50 million worth of properties in your career. So don't lead with that, please. We are getting down to the wire. Today is day six, and we are going to plan what your channel trailer is going to be. Your channel trailer is a video that starts to automatically play on your YouTube channel homepage whenever somebody comes to see it and they are not already subscribed to your channel. This little video is just a big call to action that says, hey, you should totally subscribe to this channel because it's freaking awesome. I want to thank Veed for sponsoring this part of the video. Veed is a very user-friendly video editing software program that anybody can use. I use it to edit vertical video formats. I use it to edit horizontal video formats. 
notes. They have a teleprompter written in so I can write down my entire script and read it from the teleprompter. I can do screencasting. I can show what I'm doing on screen to the audience. Veed lets me do everything in a simple app. There is lots of stock footage that I can use inside the program as B-roll and Veed allows me to make much more interesting to watch videos than anything that I would be able to make myself with other software programs. So if you are looking for a video editing software program, I definitely encourage you to give Veed a try. I will link to them down below so that you can go to their website and check them out. I especially love that Veed is a web-based program, so it doesn't matter whether you're on a Mac or a Windows machine. Whatever operating system you're using, you can still use Veed simply by going to their website, logging in. You can record your video directly into Veed and then edit it from there without having to download anything on your computer. Thank you again to Veed for being such a valuable partner to this channel. And let's get on with making the trailer. It doesn't need to be long. It doesn't need to be drawn out. It certainly does not need to be you telling them why you are an amazing agent and all of your awards and designations don't do any of that stuff. Instead, tell them what's in it for them if they watch your channel, what you're going to talk about on these videos, and why they would want to subscribe. Then tell them to subscribe. It is super easy. Don't overthink. And if it's not very good, this is just a placeholder. We can change it anytime we want. Plan to make something and we're going to get it up on the channel. In a couple months from now, you can always swap it out for something better. Congratulations. You have completely set up your YouTube channel from start to finish. Now the only thing left is to start making videos. Today, I want you to decide what are the first four videos that you are going to make for this channel. You know who you are trying to reach. You know what your niche is. You know what you're going to talk about on this channel. Now it's time to start making some ideas for videos and pressing record. And hey, if you're thinking that you're too old to start this whole YouTube journey now, I didn't start my channel until I was in my late 40s. It has given me a business that has far exceeded my wildest dreams. If you want to see how I did it, watch this video next.